Hello kids and hello church family. For my children's story to get, uh, provide for all of you today is a little something I want to make something different. So before I want to start with my story, if you all have a sheet of paper and a marker or a pencil, or can use your calculator too because I, I'm, uh, it's really crucial that I might blow your mind. <laughs> So for, to, for today's story, um, back then when I was in grade school, around grade 2 or grade 3, my, one of my favorite subjects was math. And math is, uh, it has its way with numbers and my teacher was very um, helpful and supportive. And usually I end up helping, up, helping my other classmates and friends who have trouble with math because sometimes math wasn't their strong subject and for me English was not my strong subject until I got better and better later on and also we with math there are numbers and sometimes we all have a favorite number and for me I have my, my favorite number is number seven it feels like a really lucky number and I hopefully you will have your own lucky numbers too like numbers three or 22, 23, 100, you can go beyond that. But I will try to make sure and challenge you that I can, we can have the same lucky number if we can plan this thing right. So I already have my paper and I have my marker. So my favorite number and my lucky number is seven. So uh, let's say we, um, your favorite, your lucky number is five. So I wrote down five. So five. First things first, you're going to add nine, uh, nine to it. So five plus nine equals 14. So five plus nine equals 14. Now the next thing is you multiply that by two. And that equals to 28. 28. Then from 28, you subtract that by 4 and you get 24. Sorry for my sloppy handwriting, but I want to make sure <laughs> it's really clear. It was really clear. And then from 24, you divide that by 2. And you should end up with 12. But this is based on the number 5. If you have your own number, just do, just copy the steps from plus nine, and then with that same number, you multiply that by two, my, subtract by four, then divide by two, then you should end up with some different number, unless your favorite number is five, then you should end up with 12. Now here is the thing that will blow your mind. 12, what is the number that you start off with? Five. What's 12 minus five? Seven. And just, just like that, number five and number seven, we can both have a connection of lucky numbers. And not just number five, we can do this with number seven, number nine, number 10. I, here's the, I've, been do, I've been working on this too, so you know it all adds up to seven. You know how wonderful um, God is right now? We have something much more, much better than lucky numbers and how this comes to be. We have the Bible. We have the Bible right here. I did not plan this. I did not plan this. I have to, uh, I have to give help, of course, in order to make sure everything adds up perfectly. And also, with the Word of God, and reading your Bible every single day. It's not, it is planned by God that you should be ready until his second coming and reading his word. If you're feeling happy, feeling sad, you should look and read and pray for his guidance and uh, the Holy Spirit. And also I want to end this, um, this children's story with a verse from Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, and it says, Jesus answered, It is written, Matt, 
Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. I'll repeat again. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. How amazing the word, the word that is on this book. And you can see I already made um, marks on it, so it really can impact your life. So even though you can you can read chapter by chapter, day by day, or you can do your Sabbath school lessons, it helps out a lot. Let's bow, let, let's, um, bow, bow our heads and say a prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for um, brightening our lives, um, watching us every single day, um, watching our watching these kids, watching their families, and. Lord, thank you for always um, blessing us with good things and uh, for and blessing us with a bright future ahead of us, Lord. And thank you for being our God. In Jesus' name, amen.